Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about opening up cuboid rooms. So just completely hiding one wall or more on any cuboid room that you want to. Um, here we can see this row of cuboid rooms and this entire row of walls is missing and I can walk right from cuboids directly into standard build parts. Uh, in order to do this, you do need some skills in glitching. Uh, what we're mostly going to be using is the universal adjacency glitch. Uh, if you don't know that, go ahead and follow the link in the description to learn it. Besides that, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here is the room that we're going to be opening up. The first thing you need to do is get an alloy floor placed in the exact same position as this cuboid. So I'm going to use the universal adjacency glitch here. Grab an alloy floor, store it in the cache, pick up this cuboid, glitch, place it back, and there we have a cuboid and an alloy floor merged together in the same location. I'm going to pull this floor out a little bit like this just so it's easier to work with and I'm gonna move it up a little bit or make some copies that are moved up a little bit to do that I'm gonna place three pavers on top of each other and then attach floors to each of those pavers just like this I'm gonna grab the small alloy wall and I'm gonna attach it to the middle floor then I'm gonna move that middle floor down to the bottom of that small alloy wall just like that so now I have two wall two floors stacked on top of each other like that nice and close now I'll move the small wall up to this wall duplicate it place the duplicate just below it and now I'll move this floor down to the bottom of those two walls and what we'll end up with here is three stacked floors you can delete these pavers now duplicate another floor and what you want to do is move first move the middle floor in so now this is the middle level floor right here merged with the cuboid that we want to open up the next part I'm gonna build is this white border decal as small as it gets and I'm gonna build it specifically on the bottom of one of these floors so here we go as small as it gets on the bottom of this floor here. I'm going to duplicate the cuboid, store it in my cache, duplicate the decal that we shrunk in place on the bottom there, and now I'm going to align this decal so that it's parallel with the floor and so that the edge of the decal lines up exactly with the start of the tiles on the alloy floor. So that's pretty good there, I think. I'm centered, it's about parallel, and the edge of the decal lines up exactly with the start of the tiles on the alloy floor. Now I'm gonna do the glitch to place the small cuboid. It should be upside down, and it should now open up that glass wall. And you can see that glass wall is now gone. I can fly in and out of it, no problem. Now to cover up this small cuboid here, you can move out this top floor now, like this. Grab a paver, or a paving, store it in your cache. universal adjacency glitch it from a floor and you can see here that will be perfectly placed inside of that cuboid you can remove this floor and see that that covers up that mini cuboid there and you can even go ahead and change it black so then it kind of matches up a little better and you can kind of work from there depending on what you would like to do. What I'm going to be showing today is how to go ahead and transition perfectly between the cuboids 
and the standard parts. So to do that first you have to go four cuboids wide. So I'm going to fast forward me building three more of these cuboids that are opened up like this. Alright, now we can see we've got four cuboids here lined up and they have four pavers inside of them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out, I'm going to snap this guy here and I'm going to snap one more here. I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to duplicate this paver here. I'm going to universal adjacency glitch this paver so that it's positioned right here. Now to that, I will snap a floor like this. And then to that floor, now we can see that floor is exactly on the corner like this. We can remove this paver. Now we can build three floors attached to that. One, two, three. Remove this guy. We can remove all these guys. And now we can see we have a four to three ratio here, and they line up exactly perfectly. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.